So we've been celebrating all month the amazing women that have broken ground for us. And I have an amazing woman here, and her name is Nurse Carrie. Can you hear me, boys and girls? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, they can hear me. Great. Hi, boys and girls. Oh, my name's Nurse Carrie. Um, I'm Mrs. Castanis' sister. I've been a nurse for 11 years. I work in the emergency department, and I work in the ambulance doing critical care. Okay, so in an emergency room, when you don't feel well, you get injured, people come to the emergency department. And on the ambulance, um, sometimes we transport a patient who is who got injured at a facility in a hospital that's really far away, and they have to go to a hospital in the city. So we transport that patient. And if they're really far away, Sometimes we fly them in the helicopter. And if they're farther away, sometimes it'll take like, if you're driving, it'll take a, in the ambulance on the ground, it could take an hour. So this is the way to get there in 10 to 15 minutes. What will take an hour takes 10 to 15 minutes. It has two rotors. The thing spinning on the top are rotors. And the, the little one in the back at the, at the tail of the helicopter is another rotor. So they help go up and down and side to side. We have a question from Mrs. Rojas's class. Um, Riel, um, she had a really great question. What made you want to become a nurse? I have always wanted to be, be a nurse. I always like to take care of people and help them feel better. And I always just really wanted to comfort people. And then it was really good that I happened to be good at math and science, which are really the main, the main studies that you need to do for nursing. So I've always wanted to help people. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. And I can't imagine doing anything else. This is a teamwork profession. Right. It's not just one person. We have to all work together. Oh, we have a question from Trinity W. Do you like being a nurse? I love being a nurse. People are so grateful. And you're not just helping the patient, you're helping their family. Because the family wants them to feel better, right? So when when your loved one starts to feel better, you're, you're so grateful for the nurses and doctors that help make that happen. Can you show us your equipment? And the nurse Carrie always travels with this bag. This is the stethoscope that I listen to the patient's heart and lungs with. This is the blood pressure cuff that we check the patient's blood pressure. You squeeze this and it has a little dial that tells you the patient's blood pressure. There's a pulse box that tells you the patient's oxygen level. So it reads my little finger and it'll give me the oxygen level. I have a light to check patients' pupils. Um, but we have a lot of equipment. We have a lot of equipment that we have with us all the time. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate that. Thank yeah. you for having me. I appreciate the interest in um, nursing and emergency medicine. It's just so wonderful to see all these young faces and thirsty minds wanting to learn and wanting to, um, you know, just hear about what I do. So. Thank you. All right, one more thing. Thank you, Nurse Carrie. You are a true hero. A uh, hero does a, like extraordinary things in ordinary situations. So you are amazing. Thank you for celebrating Women's History Month with us and taking the time out of your day. You're really awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Thank Bogart. you. I appreciate and it. Nurse Carrie. Bye. Thank you, boys Bye. and girls. I have a question. What's your question, Olive? Um, does she ever get to go on vacation? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do get vacation. Um, we usually get 
two to four weeks of vacation a year, depending on how much you work. But based on the pandemic, we've been working a lot of overtime to help people.